suit, so he's certainly not out of commission. And number two, Mighty Belinda, a very honest uh, bitch around here. 12 starts here for eight placings, so you've got to put her into the exotics. And number eight, Messina Special, put three together uh, before falling at Nara last night, including a couple here. Times haven't been flash, but he has finished his races off, and he can certainly get into the top four. So the favourite, 340 is flying fabulous, 360 now for number eight. Messina's specials are about to be called in. The previous here, of course, a brilliant uh, performance by this smart youngster, Power to Raw, equaling the track record at 25.32, smashed the second section record also. OK, they're all set for race number six. Bunny up in the boxes, favourite in one, they're set. Ready and racing, fine, fabulous step, beautifully straight to an early lead over Vartas Lago, which is trying to go with it early. Messina Special and Bobby Dawn are out wide. Mighty Belinda, it's nice and handy, getting along the fence, along with College Bell as their leader drifted off. Out deep on the track, then maybe one, and back at the tail of the field, then was five specs. Fine, fabulous, is in all sorts of trouble. Coming to the corner, Vartas Lago and College Bell turn in front, clear of five pecs. College Bell's run to the lead and drawn clear, and College Bell beat Vartas Lago. Third home, five pecs from Mighty Belinda, a break in the field then the maybe one flying fabulous got shuffled right out of it after drifting off going to the first quarter next to last bobby dawn and messina special one of the last in time recorded 2602 for blue the winner college bell see they were very tight going to the first quarter there was rails runs coming and uh, dogs drifting out and uh, you know the whole race certainly changed complexion in about 80 meters and college bell has railed through underneath vartas loco on the corner and has raced away the win Four, three, nine, and two are the numbers. Four, three, nine, and two. Twenty-six, oh, two. The time recorded. The winner return. Eight, ten, and two forty. And College Bell by College Causeway had a Lambac Bell raced by the BMP Syndicate trained by Stanley Beckingham. Number three has run second. Vartas Loco, Robert Manowski, and third the number nine. Five pecks to reserve. Rose Camilleri. Number two, Mighty Belinda, officially fourth. So four, three, nine, two. Oh, gee, you take half an hour to try to go back over that race. There was so much happening in the first 150 metres and flying fabulous with again beautifully, but she just started to drift off the track going to the first corner. And in doing so, it uh, was giving runs to College Bell, uh, Mighty Belinda, the, getting through on the inside. Vartas Lyko was out wide. He was able to get around Flying Fabulous and go to the lead. And then that's when College Bell has rolled through to join him on the circle. Flying Fabulous drifted out and then found trouble. The scene special and Bobby Dawn were trapped out on a wing in the first corner and they dropped out of it. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, there was plenty happening. A very detailed race number six. But College Bell has got the money. Three and three quarters, two and three quarters, the margins. Three and three quarters by two and three quarters. 26.02 was the time recorded. 26.02, the splits of 6.50, 12 even, 6.50 and 12 seconds. So they weren't exactly going two flush up front. 14.02 was the run home time. And uh, College Bell has been able to win her second race. She won a maiden here back in June over the uh, shorter trip in slow time. And uh, she railed beautifully after a moderate start. And she got all the rails runs in transit. And a little bit of luck has been able to see her get home, which was really coming off a number of placings at Richmond. So, you know, her form wasn't that bad. Uh, she'd been honest enough. And she was just simply put herself into the right place in running. And that's been able to see her get home as we have the all clear on the previous.